Welcome to Draw Together. I'm Wendy Mack, here with our assistant Caroline. Say hi, Caroline, say hi. She's shy. And Suso. And you, what's your name? I'm so happy to see you. Let's see, where do I see you today? I see you in Abu Dhabi. I see you in Hudson, New York, USA, Richmond, Virginia, USA, hello, and Delhi in India, hi. We are all here to draw together in the Draw Together Studio. It's a really big day. This is the last day of class of the first season of Draw Together. We got a lot of stuff to do today. First on the agenda, an art show. Have you ever been to an art show? That's where we all gather together and we look at art that's up on the walls and celebrate everybody's hard work. Want to go to an art show? Draw together retrospective. Come on. Suso, it's the Draw Together Season 1 Gallery Exhibition. Don't mind if I do. Thank you so much. Just a little grape juice. Let's check out all the work. Everything here was made by Draw Together Kids. This exhibition is a triumph. What do we see? Mmm. See scale, primary colors, shapes. So many shapes and lines. We see a band-aid. Let's just take a minute and admire the work together. Everybody has learned so much. A triumph of an exhibition. Yes! Good job! Suso clearly agrees. What a show, a triumph indeed. Good job, Draw Together class. It sure does feel good to show something when we work really hard on it to other people and to appreciate other people's hard work. Suso agrees. Another thing that feels really, really good when we put a lot of hard work into something is to take care of it. So, what could we do with our drawings to take care of them? I had an idea. 
I was thinking, what if we put them into a book? What if we took all the drawings that we've done, put them all together for safekeeping, and that way we can show that book to anybody anytime. Sound like fun? Well, how we make a book? We gotta obviously do one thing. What does the book have on top of it? A cover. Let's make a cover for our draw together book. I mean, we might as well call it a yearbook. It's like a draw together yearbook, a collection of all of our drawings. What would we put on the cover? Oh, our mascot, of course, Suso. All right, you wanna draw a yearbook cover with Suso on it? Come on over here. Warm up. Arms, shoulders, eyes, head, eyes again, wrists, shoulders, eyes, stop. Good job. Let's draw. What are we gonna need? All right, first thing we do, we're gonna use some different things that we've done in class together. Let's do one big frame around the outside, kind of like we did when we used our finder. Let's make a big frame. So it's the shape of a book, and we can compose our drawing. Place Suso the mascot right in the right place. All right, we have our page landscape. Oh, no, sorry, this is, what is it? Portrait. All right, now we're gonna draw Suso. We're gonna make two shapes. First shape is a circle right up here. Make a circle with me. Is it? Circle. Now, below the circle, we're going to make an oval. Kind of like a, kind of on its, kind of on its side like that. Hmm. I don't know, what's this gonna be? Does anybody see how this is gonna turn into a Suso? Maybe you might remember drawing that wolf. It's a little similar. Now let's put some eyes. We're gonna put one eye right there. I don't know, believe it or not, that's gonna be an eye. And then we're gonna put another eye right here, right in the middle. And it's gonna be bigger because it's what? Closer. <gasps> Do you see a Suso arriving? Emerging before our very eyes? Let's draw a line out here, right underneath that eye. <gasps> Do you see? And then let's put a black dot right at the end. Hello, Suso nose. It's a Suso snout. Let's draw it down, around, and attach it back to the bottom. What? It's Suso. Let's see. Suso has ears, right? Let's put some floppy ears on here. Floppy ears, this ear goes behind, so it stops right there. Maybe give Suso a little smile. Hello. Huh. There we go, we got a Suso head. Now let's make the Suso body. So we got the main shape of the Suso body right here. Circle, attaches to the oval, and we get a Suso neck. Hello, Suso neck. Look at that. Now let's see what goes right here and right here. Well, this Suso is sitting here, just nicely sitting. So I'm just gonna draw two little lines back down here and this is gonna be the back leg coming out from behind Suso's body. Well, front leg, but behind. Now let's make a little paw, Suso paw. And the other front leg, but in front. Coming all the way down. And paw in front. Hello, Suso paws. And let's see, what's right here? Yes, it's Suso's butt. But what else goes right here? Hind legs. So dogs have these kind of big back leg booty flanks. So I'm gonna draw another circle right like that. Then have our leg kind of come out right like there. Oop, sitting down. Look at that, kind of like a chicken leg, but it's a Suso leg. 
What are we missing? Suso tail. There we go. Ha! Huh, check it out. You got a Suso. Can I see yours? How's it going? Oh, look at your shapes. Look at that. Look at how there you connected the circle and the oval. Good job. All right, come on, let's keep going. We've got a couple little extras here that are gonna make Suso extra special. She's got a little collar. And what was she wearing today for her artistic opening, her first opening that made her look extra fancy? It was a little beret, a little hat. That's pretty good. All right, that's good. All right, so this is a yearbook. You can keep going on Suso if you want. You can pause, catch up anytime. You keep doing your thing. I'm gonna go on to, I'm gonna write, I'm gonna use my words here, my letters. If you're doing your letters, you can do this with me. I'm gonna write, draw together across the top of our yearbook. So this is the cover of our yearbook, the cover of all of the drawings that we've done. We're going to put everything we've done in this one place. So it's nice to put on the front the title of what we're doing. I mean, not that it to, uh oh, I made a mistake. <laughs> I spelled it wrong. Oh, well, oh, uh, let's see. Well, I'll just turn it into something later. I made a mistake. What do we do when we make a mistake? Well, we can fix it or we can just carry on and turn it into something else. And that is my MO. I'm going to just turn it into something else. Draw together. Yes. And down below, season one. We did a whole season of drawing. Can you believe this is our 12th drawing that we've done together? Season one. And then we gotta put our name down here. I got a fun idea. How about this? Let's draw a big pencil at the bottom. How do we do that? We've done this before. One long rectangle along the bottom. And at the top of the rectangle, a triangle. And at the back of the rectangle, a square. There's our eraser, and there is the tip of our pencil, and let's just make another triangle right there. Boop. Check that out. Pretty cool. A couple lines here. Ah, now you can write your name right here. I'm going to wait to the end to write my name. I think we can get to painting. What do you think? Can I start painting? Okay, quick check-in. Oh yeah, I can tell. I was going a little bit fast, um, but that's okay. Uh, if you wanna just pause, keep going at your own pace, totally fine. Okay, so I'm actually gonna use a couple different things. I'm gonna use watercolor like I always do, but also I'm gonna use colored pencil and paints, all the different stuff that we've used this whole time. So we're gonna mix it all up. You can use whatever color you want, whatever you're into, okay? Come on. Come on over here. All right, I'm gonna use this gray colored pencil because Suso is what color? So gray. She's gray. You know, Suso didn't always used to be gray. She was black at first. She had a little bit of white on her chest and a little bit of white on her face. But then as she got older, her hair turned gray. That happens. And now she looks sophisticated, doesn't she? She always looked good. So I'm just coloring in. Your Suso can be gray if you want, but also if you want to make Suso a different color, I think she'd be into it. I think if you wanted to make her purple, <laughs> I think she'd be into it. I think if you wanted to make her green or rainbow, if you want to give her polka dots, do it. I think she would love it. She would love to say, see how you would give her some special extra color love. All right, there, I made a gray Suso. And then I'm gonna use the primary colors to decorate her stuff. So let's see, do you remember what our primary colors were? One was, that's right, red. Primary color, red. What's another primary color? You remember? Could it be blue? 
this. Put a blue collar on it right there. What's the third primary color we learned? Yellow. I'm gonna give her a yellow tag right there. Kind of looks like sun, doesn't it? You know what? I'm gonna turn into a little sunshine. Cause Suso's feeling sunny. Cause she's graduating from draw together. Ah! So fun. Oh, let's see, what else? I think I'm actually gonna use paint and I'm gonna put it into this pencil right here. I'm gonna use a primary color for this pencil. I'm gonna make it yellow, yellow pencil. I think I'm gonna make it even a sunshinier color. Sunny, sunny, sunny yellow. There we go. Super sunny yellow pencil. let that dry and then come back and write on top of it. What color is the eraser? I'll make it pink. Pink eraser. Tip of the pencil. Inside of a pencil is made of graphite. I'm gonna use the graphite gray right there. Take that out. All right, let's take a look. How's our yearbook looking? Ooh, draw together. I think I kind of want to use some of the red pen, or maybe no, I'm going to use the blue pen. What color do you want to use? I'm just going to decorate the words draw together. Just go over it with some color. Gosh, I can imagine if you wanted to, you could turn these into bubble letters. If you don't have your letters down yet, you could also just make a cool design. Just make some scribbles. Littler kids, if you just want to scribble it up, that's so great. You do that too. This is your yearbook. This is your celebration of your drawings. It can say or be or do whatever you want it to be. Whatever makes you feel good and happy, that is what matters here. I'm gonna use the red and go over this here. Season one, we did it. I'm writing pretty fast, so we can slow down a little bit. You can always press pause and slow. Do your own thing. All right, let's see. Oh, one thing I wanted to do is put a little bit of shadow in here. Because right now we see Sousa's kind of floating in space, right? Well, what do we put right here to kind of give her a place? Remember? A horizon line. That. Now it's like Suso sitting on the ground, and so is the pencil. So let's give it a little bit of a shadow. So if the sun is here haha, on Suso's collar, then where would our shadow be? Sun comes down here. Block lights here. Suso blocks the light, and we got the shadow. Lights here. Sunlight is coming from Suso's collar here and comes down and hits this pencil. Where is it going to be? Right below the pencil. Yep. You can tell that our pencil is closer to us than Suso because the pencil is bigger because it's near and Suso is smaller because she's far. Good job. Let's see. Not quite. I'm gonna wait till it dries. All right. Guys, do the little check-in. Oh, going well? Yeah? Okay. Well, you can keep going, keep drawing or keep painting. I'm gonna do one thing. I'm gonna turn, start turning this into a book, okay? Take out your piece of paper. Mine has this thing on the edge, so I'm gonna take these scissors and cut, cut, cut the little bits off. Pretty fun. Oh, we're not doing a show yet though. Hold on. Then I'm going to take some of the artwork that we made. I'm going to turn it into a book. So you can do this with me. You can pause. You might want to go grab a grown up because we're going to need a stapler. Okay. So if you have a stapler, 
Get your stapler. Come in close. Look close here. I'm going to take the stapler. I put my drawings here. And I'm just going to staple one side. Staple down below the top and the bottom. And in the middle. And then, is my paint dry? Paint's still not quite dry. Sometimes things take a little while. That's okay. I'm going to blow on it. Almost dry. Oh, almost dry. Almost dry. It's dry. Now we'll write our names on our yearbooks. And I'm going to write Wendy M A C Wendy Mac. Did you write your name? How do you spell your name? You're going to write it across the pencil? I can't wait to see. All right, you can press pause if you want, if you want to finish it up, and then come back and we'll do a show. But I think we should do a show now. Ready? All right, if you're ready, if you're ready, on the count of three, we're going to show our yearbooks. One, two, three, show. <gasps> Check it out. You made a yearbook out of all those wonderful drawings you did. Look at Suso. Oh my gosh. Suso, our mascot, our draw together mascot. She is going to love to see it. And look at all of our drawings that we put in there. Everything that we learned, our band-aids, our rocket ships. Look at those wonderful yearbooks with your name. Draw Together Season 1 yearbooks. And keep all of your drawings safe and show them to people who you love. This is very exciting. All right, so uh, let's stand. Oh yeah, whoops, no, yeah, we're standing. Stand, this is a very big deal. All right, draw together class. Ready? <clears throat> class of season one, that's you. You have learned so much. You learned all about scale. You learned about perspective, color, shape, horizon lines, shadow. You learned there's no right or wrong in art. You took risks and you tried new things and you turned mistakes, no, forget mistakes, happy accidents into something totally new that only you could do. I'm so proud of you. You had different kinds of inside weather and you looked closely and you used your imagination. You should feel so proud of you, Joel. I hope so. And you did that all together. We did that together as friends. And so, draw together, class of season one, I would like you to take a deep breath. Shake it out. <laughs> and I pronounce you graduated. Hooray! It's a very, very big deal. So, so proud of you. And I hope you feel proud of yourself. One thing left to do when we don't have a hat on, and that's dance time, dance party. Dance party. Woo -hoo. Put the hat on. Come on, get up. It's our last dance party of the season. Let's dance this party. Dance it up. Dance it up. Ha! <laughs> 
forgot. Pencils up. Everything is better when we draw together. See you soon.